welcome to Zip Tide. Today we are finishing our turbo header build. So I got a lot to show you. There's a lot to learn. Let's get right into it. To begin, we're gonna start building up all the tubes on the other side of the header that we didn't get finished last time. In order to weld stainless headers, you need to back purge the tube. Back purging is when you put shielding gas inside of the tube to keep all of the weld puddle from being pulled in by gravity and heat. Without back purging, you often end up having a thing called sugaring happen on the inside. A properly back purged tube will look almost identical to the way it does outside because the shielding gas has resisted the weld from falling into the tube. In order to back purge your tube, you need to seal in a purge hose from a dual regulator and evacuate all the oxygen out of the tube. The way this is done is really cheaply with aluminum foil and aluminum tape to seal up both ends of the tube you're welding. And then you put a couple of holes in one end of the tube to allow all of that oxygen to escape. Argon tends to push out that oxygen if you tilt up the tube a little bit. I let it flow at about 25 gallons per hour for about one minute and then when it's time to weld, I turn it down to 10 gallons per hour. The process of welding flanges is first you need to clamp or bolt your flange to a heat sink. A heat sink is basically just a big chunk of metal that can take on a lot of the heat from the welding process. This keeps the flange from warping. But to back purge that same tube, now that you've blocked off that one side, you drill a 1 16th inch hole through your heat sink to allow all of the gases to escape. So, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the collector off the car, we're gonna take this side off, and we're gonna weld all this up. Then we're gonna come over here to this side and we're gonna start welding. Our primary is going to the flange, we're gonna start getting our flanges welded up, and we're just gonna start working our way up on this side. So now that we got our pieces all mocked up, we gotta break some tack welds. We gotta knock these tack welds off, break this entire little chunk off, and then we gotta break these tack welds here on the flange. Reason being is with these two tubes, there is not a whole lot of gap right there. So you are not able to really get in there and weld. So once these tubes are all welded, they're gonna tend to kind of warp a little bit and change. So it'll need a little bit of work probably to get it to sit exactly where we want it. Once it's all put it together, we'll put everything back up where we found it. So, let's get to it. The process of welding is made considerably easier by keeping all of your joints and tolerances very tight. When you're actually welding, the best thing to do is use very little filler rod so you don't build up a whole bunch of weld.
All right, so these headers are done. I mean, done enough. I'm so happy with how they turned out, but they are very pretty sitting here. They will be even prettier sitting in there. So what I gotta do is this right here is a slip joint. So these tubes can come out and make it into two pieces because there's no way it could go in there. It's just, you break the laws of physics, wormholes, you know. I gotta bang these out, make this two pieces. There's gonna be this piece, there's gonna be this piece, and then slide them both in and put it together, easy. So let's deal with it, let's get that in there. Let's do this. I mean, it just turned out amazing. Look, I have a history of being a hack. Just look at all of Zip Tide's history. And honestly, this doesn't reflect that. This is awesome. I mean, it just turned out so good. It fits great, it looks great, and will be extraordinarily functional. Now, there's still a couple of things that need to be added, like the wastegate tube and wastegate itself need to be added, and the down pipe from the turbo, which is about 18 inches of tube. Additionally, little things like O2 bungs, but who cares? At the end of the day, this is where we're at now, and I'm thrilled. Biggest thanks in the world to Guido. He walked me through this process. Without him, I'd be lost. So next time will not be another Porsche video, but it is a big video for a different project on Zip Tide. So if you don't want to miss that, and I'll actually give you a little spoiler here, hold on. There it is. I mean, that doesn't tell you much, it's a blue tarp. Yeah, j jokes on everybody. It's it's just a blue tarp. That's what's coming up next time on Zip Tide. See you next time.